Jet, Dave, because you are down to our top eight. This is our top eight teams from this year's tournament. I give it away. So, number eight in the 2012 Great Southern Slam. Ladies and gentlemen, are there any Pirate City fans out there? Let's hear it. How about number seven, Brisbane City Rollers? Number six, the Canberra Roller Derby League. <laughs> Number five, Sydney Roller Derby. <laughs> now we're gonna skip over number four because they deserve the biggest cheer of all, so they're gonna come later. Number three, the Northern Brisbane Rollers. And our two competitors for the grand final, the Sun State Roller Girls and the Victoria Roller Derby League. Let's hear it for these two. Ladies and gentlemen, the queen of roller derby in this country. The Sun State Roller Girls here in the yellow and black. Victorian Roller Derby here in the blue. And we are about to see the finest game you're ever likely to see this side of the equator. But most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, can you please lift off the roof for the league that put this whole event together? God bless you, Adelaide. Oh, no. And I think you can hear that excitement building as we get into the grand final for the Great Southern Slam 2012 here in the Adelaide Showgrounds. Just before we get going here, We're yeah. almost about to get underway. The uh, referees are currently yeah, doing the equipment checks. We're facing off VRDL versus SSRG, Victoria Roller Derby versus Sun State, based up in Queensland. I'm maladjusted and I'm uh, joined by my friend and colleague, Miss Beth. Glad to be here. More than just glad, I'm sure. Grinning with excitement. Here in Australia, we have a phrase, we are stoked. Completely, utterly, and absolutely. Looking forward to see some of the most competitive roller derby that we've seen all weekend. Uh, this is giving me a little bit of deja vu as I go back in my mind, way back to 2010, the first ever Great Southern Slam, and we saw these two teams go up up against each other for the grand final, fighting it off for a place first and second. And not only was it fought for first and second, it was a 98 to 96 point finish clenched in the final jam. That was indeed a nail biter of a bout and I'm expecting nothing less tonight as we, as we see them go head to head. Ladies and gentlemen, what have we here? Okay, our skaters are uh, approaching the track. We have jamming for uh, Sun State, uh, Rose Run. And we have Kitty De Decapitate taking the jammer line for the Victorian Roller Derby League All-Stars. Sun State opting for the quick start on the knee, wanting to get this underway as soon as possible. We're going to see a lot of good strategy tonight, a lot of love for that jammer line. As they bow on that push, very defensive walls from both teams. Rowan, Rose Rowan almost through the front of the pack. Is she blocked? Can she get by? She is free and clear. Lovely jammer. Minor penalty on the way through. Kitty Decapitate still yet to leave the pack. Rose Rowan approaching from the rear of the pack on a first scoring pass. And we have no lead jammer. Kitty Decapitate did not get lead jammer for a minor cut. We're taking this the full two minutes. Kitty Decapitate has about a 20 foot lead on Rose Rowan, but Rose Rowan is about to lap her. Kitty Decapitate is yet to score. We've already got four points on the board for Sun State. The pack is moving quite fast. Both teams really fight, fighting to dominate at the front. 
The jammers aren't even in there, and there's some amazing big hits coming from both sides. Kitty Decapitate approaching the rear of the pack for a first point scoring pass. Using a little help from her friends as she takes a whip off Vladipus. Rose Rose sneaking through on the inside. A little bit of jammer on jammer action right in the middle of the pack. And Rose Rowan is through for a five-point pass, leaving Kitty Decapitate. Kitty Decapitate finally makes her a first scoring pass. A grand slam right there, five points, number one, two, Rose. About a quarter of a track separating the two jammers. Rose Rowan had the opportunity then to pull off the The pack speed has slowed up just a little bit. We've still got another six, 15 seconds left in this jam. Is Rose Rowan going to turn it on to try to grab a quick extra point or two before this jam ends? Victoria really dominating the front of that pack, wanting to stop any score, more scoring from Sun State. Huge block there at the end on Kitty Decapitate. Well, VRDL picked up some points there. Good recovery towards the end for Kitty Decapitate. Our score line at the moment is SSRG leads VRDL nine points to seven. It's nice to see a lot of points on the scoreboard. Okay, we've got G Banger at number 010 on the jammer line for Victoria. And Polly Crackers for Sun State. But she's through. G Banger has lead jammer status. Polly Crackers just breaking free from the front of the pack now, trailing by almost half a lap. G Banger is making her way quickly. Victoria is trying to slow that pack pace down. Sun State get a third blocker back on the track, evening up the numbers. Each team with one blocker in the penalty box as we speak. G Banger hits it and she quits it. But that is no points for either team on the board from that jam. That was an amazing amount of work from both teams and to yield a 0-0 response must have been a bit heartbreaking for those jammers. It must have. So now we have Swish Caribou, number 138, hitting the jammer line for Victoria. Up against Cookie Cutter for SSRG. Victoria has one blocker still in the penalty box, so a minor pack advantage to SSRG. Switch is almost through. Losing it, Cookie Cutter now trying to get away through that last line of defense. Two blockers from VRDL at the front, locking it down. Calamity Main and Berserker there, making it very difficult for Cookie Cutter. Switch to boom is through. Victoria have lead jammer status. Cookie Cutter is quick on her tail. About a quarter of a lap separating the two jammers. Swish Karaboom approaching the rear of the pack for her scoring part. Oh! She hits it and she quits it. Nice little leap across there, taking the inside line, skipping through unopposed. Beautiful work there by VRDL. Four points on the board for VRDL in that jam, zero for Sun State, giving VRDL a slight two point lead, 11 to nine. Rose Rowan stepping up on the jammer line for Sun State. And we've got Mad Mel Arena, number 505 for the Victorians. Sun State has one blocker in the bin, so there's a minor advantage in the pack to VRDL. Rose Rowan trying to bustle away through, can't quite do it. Rose Rowan's trying to get through the front. Mad Mel has made it. She is lead jammer. She snuck through on the outside after a couple of hard attempts. Good choice of line there. Beautiful work by the VRDL jammer. Great wall work and defensive work by the Victorians, keeping Rose Ruin still in the pack. Absolutely locking it down with that wall of blue at the front of the pack. Mad Mel is already scoring. And passing. And that is a grand slam from Mad Mel. Beautiful work by the Victoria blockers locking down Rose Ruin for all that time. 
These grand slams early on the ball and here comes Mad Mel to score again. Roserone has to get past game. that last blocker. Can't manage to do it. That is quite a wall as the defense the, the Victorians have got going on. Mad Mel is through again. That was quite easy. Great work for our team there. Excellent support and excellent choice of line through the pack there. That brings it up to 10 points for Mad Mel Arena in this jam alone. Let's see what else she's got in her. Here comes Mad Mel again for another scoring pass. Rose Rowan struggling. Still in that pack. She cannot get past that wall of defense that the Victorians have been maintaining this entire jam. Oh, Mad Mel. Another grand slam for Mad Mel, another five points. Great news for VRDL. The Victorians are enjoying this. They're really drawing out that lead. We got 26 points on the board for Victoria, up against nine for the Sun State Roller Girls. It is nice to see a jam go for the full two minutes, even when there is a lead jammer. Great work there by the Victorians. Fantastic defense. Beautiful, beautiful pack work. And now we've got Kitty Decapitate up on the jammer line again for the Victorians. Facing up against Polly Crackers for Sun State. Looks like we have a clear penalty box. So it's a full complement of blockers on the track. No particular advantage to either side at the commencement of this jam. So the blockers have been released, but they are yet to move. We've got a bit of a standoff going on. Nobody wants to make the first gate. I think after that last jam, they're just trying to catch their breath. That looks like some hard skating going on before. Okay, they're just trying to establish minor positional advantages whilst they're butted up against the jammer line. Neither team giving an inch. It's a bit of a Mexican standoff, Dave. First to blink. We're over 30 seconds into this jam and yet to move. Okay. Rather slow derby, static derby, in fact. Polly Crackers just skating along the rear line there. She looks like she's itching to get out there. A lot of nervous energy. It is the second jam for Key Decapitate tonight. So no doubt this should be quite an interesting jam once they both get started. Both very fast, very athletic, very uh, impressive skaters from both sides. Uh, we've got 45 seconds left in this jam. It's just going to uh, time out at the rate that things are going. Before that time runs out. I have to admit that uh, these must starts are a critical point of today's game, but I'm a bit of a fan of the old missionary style. Roller Seeing roller both of the coaches roller. out looking at their teams, oh, offering oh, some oh, slight oh, little oh, facial oh, movements as instructions as to what the oh, pack should do. I've got to mention I saw a little roller shaking roller of the head yeah, from yeah, some state. Indicating not to move. We got less than 20 seconds remaining in this jam. The natives are getting restless in the auditorium. Jude's got her hands on her hips and she's calling for them to, to stay exactly where they are. Five seconds. Three, two, one. There's the jam. Well that was that was that was no action there on the for that jam. Yeah, that was rather Zen Derby. The sound of one hand clapping a la Derby style. I can only assume that there was a massive amount of head game going on there amongst the pack. I think so, I think so, particularly from the two coaches. Now Victorian, uh, the Victorians have all taken a knee. I think they're wanting to get started um, quick smart for the next jam. And so they should. Let's get this thing underway. Holy Crack is trying to muscle her way through the wall there. Kitty no, Decapitate having more luck. Kitty Decapitate fighting her way through a hornet's nest. Scully Maserati, Brockwell, She is running on those toe stops as she's facing that last wall. Some huge hits there. The pack is moving. The defensive wall has been broken up. Some support there from the SSRG blockers. But is it enough? Big hit from Calamity Maine. Is it enough to give Kitty enough time to get to the front? Very, very tough out there. 
Holy Crows is through and clear from the pack, but not Lee Jammer. Minor penalty on the way through, but we are free and clear. I believe that was a cross directional block. And Sweet Enemy holding the front line of the pack, doing a sterling job. Kitty is still fighting to make her initial pass through the pack. And and some huge hits as Polly goes through for a Grand Slam scoring pass. Some say we're happy with that. They hit it, they quit it, they got five points. And in fact, it was Kitty, the Cap Kitty Decapitate who just finally managed to get out the front of the pack there, took Lee Jammer's status and called it off, but not until five points had been bled. Okay, we've got G-Banger, number 010, taking the jammer line for the Victorians. Up against Cookie Cutter for SSRG. SSRG has a blocker in the bin, so there's a minor pack advantage to VRDL. And G-Banger storms through the first two blocker, first blocker of Sun State, but she's got a two-man wall to get out through. And the defenders have strayed too far out in front, and they have to let G-Banger go. G-Banger is lead jammer for VRDL. Cookie Cutter still fighting against that wall of blue at the front of the pack, yet to make her way through. G-Banger is at the back of the pack. She's ready to score. She can't get any support from her blockers because they are busy holding G-Banger at bay at the back of the pack. And she's through. G-Banger is through on her initial scoring pass. That is a grand slam for G-Banger as she snuck through on the inside line with a nice little apex jump. Cookie Cutter still trying to get her way past those last two VRDL blockers at the front of the pack, getting some support from her teammates, but it doesn't seem to be enough. She's trapped down, boxed in against the inside line. Taking some huge hits from the blockers from VRDL. Oh, and Cookie Cutter skips through on the inside line. Another grand slam, five more points to VRDL. Another five points on the board for Victoria. That brings Jing Banger to a triple grand slam. Cookie Cutter's still got two blockers to get a pass. She's getting knocked left, right, and center. Some great work there by Ruby. Finally, the VRDO blockers straight too far out in front, and they have to let it go. The Cookie Cutter has had the life knocked out of her. G Banger has made another grand slam scoring pass, and she calls it. What an amazing pack Victoria have brought today. Their defensive work is just fantastic. The way that they communicate and work with their jammer, it's just awesome to see it happen. Now for a bit of a score update, VRDL now have 40 points up there, up against 14 for the Sun State Roller Girls. Okay, but at the uh, beginning of this jam, VRDL is down two blockers into the penalty box. Sunset is keen to have a quick start for this jam. They've all taken a knee. That looks like Lady Killer jamming for Sun State. Quick off the mark, slipping through on the inside, taking Lee Jammer is in control. Swiss Caribou is not far behind her. She almost followed her through the pack. Doing a great job up against that defensive wall from the Sun State Roller Girls. Quick couple of points for SSRG. Just passing the uh, VRDL blockers at the back of the pack. Better than nothing. No points for Victoria then. Now we've got Mad Mel Arena taking the jammer line again for the Victorians. And Polly Crackers for uh, SSRG. Now has still got two blockers in the penalty box for Victoria. Four blockers on the track for SSRG. So there has to be an advantage there for SSRG. And don't they need it right now? They do. We've got 40 points on the board for Victoria. Up against 18 for the Sun State Roller Girls. And look at Polly. Polly's just straight through. Lead jammer status. The VRDL jam is still caught up in the pack, trying to find a way through. Looks like she's just broken clear, avoiding the Grand Slam situation. Polly Crackers first scoring pass, four points and calls it off. Okay, we've got G-Banger lining up again as the jammer for the Victorians. Facing up against Lady Killer after her uh, success, the jam before last. Still VRDL with two blockers in the bin, but this time they're joined by one from SSRG. So minor advantage to SSRG at the commencement of this jam. And the jammer whistle is blown. 
Looks like Lady Killer has spotted an opening. Oh, oh Lady Killer goes down, loses her position in the pack. T-Banger is still at the back of the pack, fighting her way through, working with her teammates there as they're rejoined by Ruby Ripkosha. The defensive wall from SSRG is stretching out a bit. They're in danger of leaving the engagement zone, but they take down the VRDL jammer. And she gets a major penalty for low blocking. G-Banger has gone to the bin. Oh, Lady Killer! Passes, five point pass. Some say working hard to keep one of the Victorians behind them, but it does not work. We've got a standstill pack. Lady Killer goes down. Does she get done for a back left? Yes, she does. The situation flips. SSRG lose their jammer. But they've got their final blocker out there on the pack. Full contingents from both sides. One jammer goes down, the other one comes back. G-Banger is out on the track. G-Banger slips through on the inside line. Beautiful skating there. She almost took a big hit, but she just skated on through. She is not lead jammer, so we're going to see this jam going out uh, the remaining 36 seconds. Victoria doing a great job of keeping that. G-Banger loses a skate. Not what you want to happen when you're in a power pack situation. Oh no, that's exactly the sort of Lady Killer's back on the track now, having served a time. G-Banger has her skate back on and she's back in there. Straight through. That has to be one of the quickest equipment changes I've ever seen. Fantastic work by G-Banger. Lady Killer's come back into the track now from the Sindon and G-Banger has got her boot back on and she's busted through the pack and put another four points on the board for Victoria. And the jam is off. Very quick three picked up the end by Lady Killer using the tactic that we're seeing a lot these days. As the whistle goes, the jammers are flipping around, throwing their ass forward because the points are measured, the pass is measured from the point of the hips. And like in this case, was able to grab an extra one. This is the finest roller derby we'll see this side of the equator. Okay, we've got Kitty Decapitate up on the jammer line again for the Victorians. Let's see what happens this time. She's facing off against Cookie Cutter. It's an even match in the pack, three blockers apiece. Kitty working well with the rest of her blockers, forming a four-man wall, keeping Cookie Cutter behind them. Cookie Cutter's still trying to wrestle through. Kitty's gone off by herself. She's taken on those three blockers from Sun State. Oh, what a huge hit! But she's back up, and Sun State loses their blocker to the penalty box. Here comes Kitty around for her scoring pass. Cookie Cutter still at the back of the pack, trying to get away through these two defenders from VRDL at the front of the pack. Some big hits going on, Cookie Cutter. Cookie Cutter tries to break free, and she has done so. Kitty struggling at the back. She's got a three Sun State girls to get through. Four point pass for Kitty decapitate there, and she calls it. My God, can they keep up this pace of derby for the full clock? We're only 20 minutes in. We've got 48 po points on the board for Victoria, 30 for Sun State. Sun State recovering somewhat, but they need to do a bit more than just this. We've got Polly Crackers jamming for Sun State up on the line. Up against Mad Malarina. Victorian's got three blockers there in the pack. Sun State's only got two. No pack, the jammers are away. Mad Mel Arena dealing with two Sunstate Looks Holy like Polly just got blocked by our own, own blocker. Sweet enemy. Facing backwards, and the pack re-encompasses them. That was some classy defense there by 9 one Oh, and Polly Crackers sips through on the inside line, taking lead jammer status. Sunstate are in control. Mad Mel taking a big hit from Sweet Enemy. Mad Mel Arena. But that earned a penalty for a sweet enemy. I'm not sure exactly what happened there, but she's on her way to the box. Mad Mel is through. She is not lead jammer. 
Makes life a lot, makes pack control a lot. Huge, one of you. huge defensive wall from, from Victoria. Number 77, Rocky taking a huge hit. Smashes Polly Crackers to the ground. This is where it's all at. One point on the board for Sunstate, zero for Victoria. Well, Dave, Dave Sunstate better look out now because Victoria Roller Derby League has a full fleet of skaters. There's a sea of blue. There we go. We've got a full contingency from the Victorians. They've got Swish Caribou on the jammer line, number 138. That girl is fast. Okay, and Sunstate has Lady Killer on the jammer line, but only two supporting blockers there in the pack. Have to say the advantage is with VRDL at the beginning of this one. I think they're going to use it. Mark An official timeout has been called. Okay, while the officials are having a bit of a chat, figuring out what's going on, we I hope that you're enjoying the coverage and all of the coverage that you've been able to enjoy of the Great Southern Slam here on DNN. So right now I want everyone to consider contributing to support this fantastic community broadcast. Lots of exciting Australian-themed premium items for all contributors. Go to the DNN homepage or to the TGSS live page on DNN and hit the contribute button to learn more. Every little bit you can you can spare helps us bring you Derby from around the globe. We are not for profit. It's uh, your support that keeps us going. So please consider making a contribution. You want to see more roller derby? You want to see better better feeds? Get in there and support. And boy is the sport sport in a great state of glory. I would just like to quickly apologize for squealing into the microphone and causing popping, squeaking and general feedback. I'm a very excitable chap and this is not an environment that keeps me quiet. We'll, we'll, we'll try and calm him down but I'm not promising anything. You should see this live. It's amazing. We're back ladies and gentlemen. Number 138 Swish Caraboom jamming for the Victoria Roll Derby League up alongside number 11. Quick start. Lady Killer trying to find a way on the outside. Swish Caraboom. Lady Killer struggling, trying to pick the outside, trying to pick the, in, the uh, inside line, not having any luck. And Swish Caribou is making it through. She got through that last line of defense and she is lead jammer. Lady Killer is still at the back of the pack looking for some help from her friends. Victoria Roller Derby League, please give me a Swish Caribou. Here comes Swish for her scoring pass. Lady Killer is still yet to make her initial pass. Ruby Ripcrush are doing a fantastic job keeping her behind them. Oh, and she has been passed. That is a grand slam, I believe, for Swish Caribou. Go Swishy. And done with some style. She just left the apex a little bit there. Big hit from Ruby Ripcrush on Lady Killer. Joined by the Axes of Evil for a, yet another wall for Lady Killer to get past. That is a punishing, punishing pack there. Now Sunstate has a couple more blockers on the track, so a bit more support there for Lady Killer, but they seem to uh, be a bit busy trying to pin down uh, Swish Caraboom. That was a beautiful piece of skating as Swish Caribou faced off against number 911 from Sunstate. Scully. Lady Killer finally has broken free of that pack. Lady Killer made it through, but boy, does she look beaten up. That looked hard. Okay, so the Victorians are now on 58 points, up against 31 for the Sun State Roller Girls. A quick check of the penalty box. It looks like Sun State has two blockers in the bin, VRDL 1. Okay, looks like everybody wants a knee start for this one. Get it going quickly. Some great strategy going on there as they line up, getting themselves in the perfect position for making their blocks. Cookie Banger coming up against a, a two-man wall from Sun State Girls. And Cookie Cutter up against the line of blue at the front of the pack there. But G Banger is through. She is lead lead jammer. Cookie Cutter, meanwhile, is looking for Tizzy Fit to help her get through that brutal Victorian. Cookie Cutter still struggling to get away past those blue blockers. That wall of defense just holding her behind them, hitting her again and again. We got two Victorian blockers left on the track, doing a great job controlling the speed of the pack. Oh, nice little jump on the inside there. Beautiful jamming by G-Banger as she makes it through for a grand slam. Another five points, thank you very much. And puts five points on the board for Victoria. Cookie Cutter is facing off against, I believe that's Vladipus. Great booty blocking there. Brought it to a standstill. 
and Cookie Cutter has been sent to the penalty box for a track cut. This is not what SSRG need right now. And that was actually BB Bombshell doing the fantastic boot, booty blocking there. As G Banger just pushes her way through the remaining Sun State girls. This G Banger is amazing. Another five point pass there for VRDL. Only two Victorian blockers out there on the, on the track, and they're doing their darndest to slow it down. Uh, there's no way you're going to be putting any points on the board with the jammer in the box. But what it means is that the blockers now have to shape up strictly on defense. SSRG blockers trying to uh, form a line out the front of the pack there, keep the speed going while VRDL tries to slow it down. Oh, and a big hit on G-Banger onto the inside track line. Great work by uh, the defense in the block, just stopping Maserati from um, taking yourself all the way to back to the pack. Oh! That looked like it hurt. Looks like G-Banger just managed to stay inside the track there, the final stages of that jam. Beautiful skating on her part. Okay, we've got 40 points difference going on at the moment. Victoria is on 71, up against the Sun State Roller Girls on 31 points. A little bit less than five minutes left on the clock. Okay, uh, we've uh, got two blockers apiece on the track. Mad Malarina jamming for the Victorians, facing off. To, that looks like a hard fight between the blockers. Cookie Cutter Never. comes off the bench, runs through the pack, takes Lee Jammer's status. This is what SSRG need right now. A little bit of confusion on the track, Oh, and a leap of the apex. Cookie Cutter brings a five-point pass home. Big hits going on Mad Malarina as she makes her way through, but she's got about half a track behind Cookie Cutter. Cookie Cutter survives the challenge. Another four point pass on that occasion. Mad Mel faces off against Sweet Enemy and wins. Mad Mel about half a track's length behind Cookie Cutter. Cookie Cutter approaching the rear of the pack for another scoring pass, but hits a wall of blue. Mad Mel just makes it right on through. Four points on the board. Oh, now VRDL has four blockers back on the track. That's going to change the complexion of things for Cookie Cutter and SSRG. Oh, we've got uh, full contingencies for both teams now on the track. Now, that was, was not ideal for the Sun State Roller Girls. A couple of quick points at the end, but... Oh, thank goodness St. John's Ambulance is here tonight. <laughs> I think we have on the jammer okay, line. Okay, and now we're seeing skate push number 45 for the Victorians taking the jammer line for the first time this evening. And Rose Ruin back on the jammer line for SSRG. We've got two minutes 20 or so left on the clock. VRDL lead 79 to SSRG 42. No one in the penalty box at the moment. This one's going to be a tough one. The jam is underway, but nobody's really moving off the jammer line. They're Looks like Sunstate's uh, looking for a no pack, is called and the jammers are no pack and now it's on. Nope. Rose, Rose Ruin just almost sneaks on through, but now she's got a face off against the Berserker. Oh, she slips through. A and Berserker does a beautiful job forcing that cut. And Rose Ruin is on her way to the penalty box. Power jam situation for the Victorians. Beautiful defense by VRDL there. Was doing so good for Sunstate for a few seconds. And they picked the right jammer. Skatebook Bush is fantastic. I think they've been saving her just for this moment. The track minor penalty on the way through, I believe. Maybe she did. Actually, I'm not sure why she didn't get lead jammer. And she's through as she sneaks with some sneaky skating on the outside. Grand slam. Bit of sloppy defense there by SSRG at the front of that static pack. She tries that same move again. Doesn't make it. Coming up on a three-man wall from Sun State. But oh. she gets through. Rolls through nicely. Victorian's doing a fantastic job of keeping that pack to an absolute standstill. 
oh, that little bit easy for her to come That's a fantastic strategy, and the Victorians are, are one of the teams that does it really, really well. Roller, Cherry Calder, holding Kate Bush and Maya. She just tries to shove away through. Look at the strength. Oh, nice little roll out of that one. But nice Rose Ruin is making her way back onto the track, looking to to get in there and score some more points before this time runs out. And she runs onto the back of a wall of blue, scrambling, trying to get through. The pack has sort of opened up a bit, but uh, VRDL forms a defensive line up front. Let's see if we've got time for one more jam. Swish Caribou is lining up for the Victorians. Up against Polly Crackers for SSRG. Got one blocker apiece in the bin, both of the pivots. We've got BB Bombshell, Kitty Tkapka. Oh, it looks like we've been called into halftime. Half time already? Oh my god. That went fast. And as we go into half time, the scoreline is VRDL 94 leading SSRG 42. And don't forget, at the end of this uh, grand final. Actually, right now. Right now. Head on over to Channel 1 to check out the Slammer. Some of you may remember. From the Great Slip and Slam two years ago, what's well, now going to become a traveling trophy. Victoria has guarded it for the last two years. Is Sun State going to be a winner tonight, Dave? Well, there's only one way to find out. Stick around for the next 45 minutes, we will know. Half time score is 42 points to Sun State, 94 points to Victoria. And I'll tell you, if there's going to be one loser of this Great Slip and Slam, it's going to be my vocal cords. <laughs> well, let's give your vocal cords a rest. A rest. We'll see you in 12 minutes back here at the Roller Derby. And Mike Ryder. <laughs> well, we're here at the Great Southern Slam Grand Final, and it's the uh, it's half time here. And what an amazing bout so uh, far, Mike. Man, I have been uh, sitting right here at trackside watching all the action and. I'm having a bit of deja vu. This is uh, very reminiscent of uh, two years ago, Great Southern Slam. Not a huge uh, amount of points in it at the moment. Halftime score is uh, Victoria 42, Sun State uh, they're just uh, changing it on me. 94, so 42 Sun State, 94 to Victoria. Still a very close game. Absolutely, Mark. Now we've got a very special guest. The godfather of Royal Derby Broadcasting. Excellent. Good to see you, Hurts. Hey, it's so great to be here. We're almost done. And uh, on behalf of the Australian Royal Derby, I just want to say a big thank you to you and the News Network. Maybe look behind the camera up there. Dude, I can't hear a word you're saying. I just said a big thank you to you and the News Network for coming out and, and filming this for us. It's now, fantastic. There, I mean, there's nothing in the world like the Great Southern Slam. It's really, it, it is the definition of a unique event. And there's nothing in the world like Derby News Network either. And uh, you've got a bit of an announcement out there for the folks at home. How can they help Derby News Network continue to do this great work? Yeah, we want to talk a little bit about our funding model here. Um, we are very, very committed to never putting a price tag on the services that we provide. Uh, our mission is based on providing internet media services that build the sport, that give the skaters who want to get better something to watch so they can see how to get better, that also give their friends and their family, their league mates, all of the people who are involved in making all of the sacrifices that support somebody in participating in the sport, that those people also get to participate and get to, get to enjoy the fruits of all of those labors, even if they're not able to travel to an event like this. So we, it's critically important to us that you don't have to, you're not forced to pay to participate in that. Um, but that said, there are costs involved in this. We go way out of our way to minimize those costs. But an event like this, a four tracker, as, as much as we've gotten really good at teaching people in local places how to 
how to do the stream, all the skill set, rather than traveling ourselves, we try as much as we can to have people on site be able to do the broadcast. With a four-track event, we might have been able to do one or two streams with remote, with, with on-site talent, but four-track, it really meant Mercy and I had to come here to be able to keep all of the plates spinning. Yeah. Uh, we put a fun drive up a few weeks ago. It's on our homepage at derbynewsnetwork.com. It is specific to this event, and uh, we're about two-thirds of the way to our target last time I checked. Uh, we would really love to see some support in that fun drive. And I, I want to make clear, we know that most people who are watching this aren't in a position to participate at all. Um, you know, it's, if it comes down to a choice between kicking in a little bit of money to help DNS do a broadcast versus putting a little money away to replace that bolt set of skate wheels that just need, you need new wheels, please keep skating. That's our priority. Uh, but... If you're in a position where you've, you've got a little bit of extra and you want not just to support the fact that you were able to watch it yourself, but also you want to support the ability for all of these other skaters who need it, who need the resource to watch it, kick in a little bit. Um, at, we, we've got limited edition premiums this time around. If you want to contribute at a higher amount, you can get a t-shirt that has the DNN logo with the star replaced by an Australia, or you can get a jacket uh, with the same deal. But even if you don't want to contribute at those higher amounts, every little bit counts. We really strongly believe that many hands make light work. The Australia logo, along with DNN, and down here at the Great Southern Sound for 2012. Uh, it is exactly, it's everything that we were hoping for from this game. Um, Victoria, as you know, they, they're in the lead as, as not too surprising, but wow, this is not a tight, or not, not, a, not a dangerous game yet. It is urgent. What are the words? You know, you get to this point, I know you guys can relate. The words are hard. Um, I, the Sun State can absolutely still in this, and that's what we want to see. You know, the whole point about this, Victoria went went across the ocean, brought some skills back, and they're sharing them all weekend here. That's right. Big thanks to the Great Southern Slam have been nail biters all weekend long. We're going to have the second half for you in about well, 10 minutes' time now, probably less. I'm my man. I'm my garage. And this is me. Thanks so much, guys. Couldn't have done it without you. Thank you. Stay tuned for the second half.
honey? Do we, do we have a mic up? Oh, the one I'm talking right into. I, I wouldn't tell this to anybody else but my dear close friends in the audience. I kind of want to be there the day he misses. I don't feel good about it, but it's true. of his thigh. second half of the grand final of the Great Southern Slam. And welcome back yeah, after some great halftime entertainment the there. We've got about two minutes left of halftime before we get into the second half of this truly epic game of roller derby. I'm hoping out there that you can actually feel the atmosphere of this room. This is amazing. I mean, we've gone into a half time with VRDL leading 94, SSRG 42, but this has been one amazing bout so far. It is positively electric in here. Absolutely, in the half time break, I had a cup of chamomile tea, a few mother's little helpers. I should have just settled down enough to carry us through, but I'm making no promises. I wish I just had a shot of whiskey. Sounds good. Okay, back for the equipment checks, just making sure everybody is still safe on the track. A little bit of putting up of the track there, making sure everything's all like sweet and nice for the skaters. Ah, oh, duct tape, is there anything it cannot do? It's all you need sometimes. So I think in this first half, we've seen some amazing strategy um, delivered and, uh, and just stuck by, by both of these teams. And I think we're going to see a lot more in the second half, particularly as they come up with new and interesting ways to combat the strategies we saw in the first half. Absolutely. It has been um, the blockers of VRDL that have dominated the game so far. SSRG have to have used this time uh, between these two halves to come up with some way of diffusing this VRDL pack. Well, I've really noticed that the Victorians have really been fighting hard for the front of the pack and really owning it there. So they are the last line of defense, regardless of which jammer is coming through. Absolutely. And uh, unlike SSRG, they haven't been drifting too far out in front. We've seen SSRG a couple of times having to let the jammer go because their blockers at the front of the pack have just drifted beyond that 20 uh, foot uh, zone of engagement. But uh, VRDL's discipline is such that they have not done that throughout the first period. I think one of the great things about these two teams is they've both been working quite consistently um, for a number of years now with their coach. So we have the lovely um, Jude Sai for the Victorians and Mark Madden for the Sun State Roller Girls. 
Actually, I have to say, Mark Madden is stoic. You look at him out there on the track, it's very rare you see any emotion showing through. He's definitely got his serious face on. He's got his serious face on for the entire tournament I've seen. I suspect that he might be able to crush the psyche of a mortal human just by nodding his head and furrowing his brow. I think so. He's got he's got some interesting facial moves as well as he directs his team when they're out there on the track. Now, don't forget, at the end of this uh, epic game, um, head on over to the Slammer to, to check out the wrap-up as we talk to some of the skaters and find out how they went out there on the track. Now, as the uh, players take position on the track, we've got one blocker apiece in the penalty box. We have Rose Rowan jamming for SSRG. And Kitty De Decapitate is there jamming for the Victorians. So starting off on their knees in the mass proposal for There's a great amount of uh, intimidation and strategy just going on, just in the lining up for each jam. Jammer whistle is blown. Rose Ruin can't quite find a gap there on the outside. They're held at bay by Calamity Main. Well, Rose Ruin trying to cut in through the inside after having no luck on the outside. And she has some success there. Rose Ruin takes Lee Janice status for SSRG. But here comes Kitty, not too far behind. Oh. About half a track behind. Some state of slow the pack up. Rose Ruin sneaks on through. Calls it up. A quick smash and grab for Sun State. I'm not sure, but I think, oh no, I thought Kitty might have scored at least one with her, her quick thinking and her little egg pack jump, but no, that was no points for the Victorians. It was very close. Okay, and we're seeing G Banger 0 1 0 taking the, the jammer line for the Victorians again. Facing up against Polly Crackers for SSRG. And we have an official timeout. Just a quick update of the penalty box. We have two blockers in the bin. Pivots from both teams still, still serving some time. And we've got Lady Killer for Sun State and Rocky for the Victorians. Even throughout this official timeout, neither team, neither blocker is giving up her, her place there on the track. The Victorians opting for that wide stance, owning that jammer line. Well, they want that and they're going to keep it. But it's a very risky tactic. If you fail at it, you can let off a lot of points to your opponent. Quick conference between the refugee, re, uh, referees in the centre of the pack. In that ref huddle over there, but they're all looking very serious. There's not a lot of smiles out there. I oh, actually haven't said that. I just spotted Swiss Caribou now with a huge grin on her face. It looks like Kitty's in deep and just while we've got this official timeout going on, uh, DNN would like to thank all of the people here in Adelaide that brought you this community broadcast. The hard-working Derby fa family right here at Adelaide Roller Derby who made this event and our participation possible. For tens and tens of commentators and production volunteers from all over Australasia who are working together to bring you this action. Our production partners, Tilt Vision, Video Bob and Doco Dan and many others who have helped us source equipment and operated the gear all day, all weekend. Three full days of amazing roller derby action here at the Great Southern Slam in 2012. This official timeout is continuing. The audience entertaining themselves with Mexican wave. Okay, it looks like the head referee is now having discussions with both teams, so hopefully we're going to get this show back on the road. This is a very long running Mexican wave. It's a beautiful side testament to the We are less than a minute into the second jam. Here on track one, 2012 Great Southern Slam. What a weekend this has been. Well, the audience are maintaining their energy levels. The wave just keeps going round and round. At some point, we're going to quit waving and begin skating. Yes, Biff, I'm getting motion sick. Well, spotters deep in discussion here at the captains. Kitty Decapitate, the captain of the Victorian Roller Derby League, and Slaughter Daughter, the captain of Sun State Roller Girls. That is still coming around. <laughs> and why is there this compulsion to lift the arm? You know, we only have one arm available because we're jib jabbing away on our microphones. And every now and then, what? Around the games. And I did Okay, I think, I think it's done worry. like five rotations that now of the entire spectators. I hope you guys can see this online. Oh, and it's petering out. It's a Mexican ripple. They had an official review of the contestant points and there's been no change in the score. Okay, That's and we're how back. Cool our referees are, Dave. I only expect the very first 
I believe that was a review about points, but there has been no changes to the scoreboard as a result of that review. We have Polly Crackers jamming for SSRG, G Banger for VRDL. G Banger at the front, and she makes it through. She is lead jammer. Polly is still fighting at the back of the pack, coming up against a big oh, one from Victoria. Oh. Some big hits from, from BB Bombshell and Ruby Ribcrusher. Holly Craig is still trying to find a way around, picking the outside, hoping to sneak through, but cut off there. Ducks her on the inside. Can she make it past? Almost, but knocked onto the inside line of the track. And a track cut. Holly Crackers is to the penalty box for one minute. This is a nightmare for SSRG. Here we have a power jam situation for G Banger. And that's just what we're talking about, Dave. The power jam situation. That was a five-point exactly scoring pass for G-Banger. Avoid the second half with the powerful skater like G-Banger in there. And the RDL with the extra blocker on the track, line, uh, slowing that pack uh, right down. And G-Banger just the makes it through on the inside line, but taking some hard hits from Sweet M Enemy it's and Lady Kira. Up on one skate, but managing to keep it balanced. She approaches the rear of the pack again for yet another scoring pass. Which no doubt Opting for the outside this time, and it works for her. She's still got to deal with Lady Killer, which she does ever so gracefully. Very easy work, it looks, but I don't think that's the case out there. She's working hard for each of these. Yeah, we've got to have a clean game here. Chop Chop holding the outside line, assisting with Lizery, backing her up once again. Chop Chop holding her at bay, but that 20 foot rule. Oh, Chop Chop has to let it go. She had to yield. G Bang is busted out of that pack once again, putting another five points. On the board, must be hard. And Polly is back on the track, the facing a, a three man wall from the Victorians. G Banger is fighting her way to make it through uh, for a couple more points. Polly's trying to sneak away through, but the VRL defense gets to the front of the pack. A very good jam for VRL. And G Banger calls off that jam. Swish. Caraboom back on the jammer line in the blue. She banger looks like she Alongside wanted a couple more points. She's a little bit angry that she didn't get awarded them. Well, the RDL leads 114 to 46, so I don't think her uh, complaining will really reach receptive ears. But there's still almost 27 minutes left on the clock. There's a lot of time for, for points to get put up on the board. Everyone counts at this stage. Absolutely. We have Rose Rowan jamming for SSRG. And I believe that's Swiss Caribou up there for the Victorians. Okay, SSRG only has two blockers on the track while VRDL has three. So VRDL goes into this jam with a minor pack advantage. We have a little bit of an official woo-woo going on. I think this might be some clarification on those final few points that G-Banger was looking for. In a game like this, every point counts, so they're going to ask the questions if there's any doubt whatsoever. It's too late after you get into the next round to fight for those points. showgrounds, my throat on the verge of giving out. This is where all the action's happening. Not only the lead-up of the last three days, but the lead-up of the last two years. I know everyone, every league in Australia and New Zealand has had their eye on this golden thong, wanting it in their trophy cabinet. Are you talking about the golden? Oh, Mark Madden, the uh, coach of SSRG, approaches the, the center of the track. Trophy that's right in front of us. This is what getting caught up. What, what's going it's on? The coveted prize of the Great Southern Slam, and it is the product, nonetheless, of one of our very talented and artistic referees, Grumpire. He may be a grumpy man, but man, he can make some beautiful art. So it's truly been well, an you, epic I'm weekend really of roller derby so far. So far we've got um, everything but the top two placements going on. In number eight for the Great Southern Slam control. in 2012, we had Pirate City Rollers. And I'll catch you up on the rest of the placements uh, next review. Or next time out. I think there might be one or two of those yet to I, come. I believe so. <laughs> okay, Rose Ruin ja jamming for SSRG. Swiss Caribou working quickly, fighting against that two amazing defensive wall from Sun State. Big hit from Calamity Mame on Rose Ruin. But Swiss has made it through. She is lead jammer. Rose Ruin still at the back of the pack, facing off against those Victorians. Berserker doing some great blocking work, but she's taken to the ground. 
She's trying to skip by on the outside, redirect to the inside. Rose Ruin just can't do it, but she has to be let go. Error by VRDL, stretching too far out in front. That doesn't happen very often. Swish Caraboom has re-ended there. He had Tizzy Scully at the front, holding her back, holding that inside line. Swish Caraboom having to shove her away with the shoulders. Some Doesn't great defensive work there by Sunstate, forcing Swishy to call it off early before she can score those final points. Absolutely, Rose Room was coming up towards the back of the pack for a scoring pass, but was denied. Three points put on the board by Swish Caribou in that last jam. Okay, now we have Cookie Cutter jamming for Sunstate. Mad Mellarina, number 505 for the Victorians. Now, unfortunately for Sun State, they have two blockers in the penalty box right now, while VRDL has a full complement on the track. Advantage with VRDL at the beginning of this jam. The jammers are away. Mad Mellarina trying to find an opening there. Could be following in her wake, but getting held at bay immediately by Splatterpuss. Is moody. Two blockers from SSIG doing the best they can at the front of the pack there, having some success. But Mad Mel is, is the lead jammer. Cookie Cutter still at the back of the pack. Facing off against the Victorians. Great work there by Skatebush. Cookie Cutter has escaped the pack, avoiding being lapped. SSIG had two uh, blockers uh, returned to the track, but two more have gone off. Mad Mel Arena making her initial scoring pass. Cookie Cutter's entered the pack here. Mel Arena chose not to call off the jam. Cookie Cutter may have put a point or two on the board there. Number 52, Exeter The blockers of the Victorian are doing a great back. job here. Cookie, cookie, cookie Cutter cookie behind them. She she's scored a couple of points, but she still can't break that final wall. Great Same strategy there by the Victorians. Instead of calling off the jams, here comes Man Malarina to make another scoring pass. And lapping Cookie Cutter, perhaps. No! Take out by Cookie Cutter on Man Malarina. She's not only got a great awareness of what's going on the track, She's communicating with her team. Axes of Yvonne doing a great job hold, holding Cookie Cutter behind, behind her at the front of the pack. Play she should call. So that's Joined by Skate Bush. Five point pass for VRDL. And Mamma has not called it off. She's going around to make another pass. She wants some more points. Those girls are hungry. What's going on there? I think we had seen Cookie Cutter is really having a hard time getting through that pack. She just can't, she makes it all the way to the front and faces a big wall of blue. Absolutely, and that big wall of blue might only be one or two players, but they're definitely doing the job of locking them down. Oh. Beautiful work by VRDL in that last jam. VRDL is now on 127 points in the huge lead up against the Sun State Roller Girls who only have 46. Now our Polly Crackers are stepping up to jam for Sun State. Jay Banger getting ready to jam for VRDL. We've got okay, we've got G-Banger with the stars on her helmet yet again for Victoria. She's doing a great job tonight. She's muscling away through that front line of defense. Fighting all of those blockers all by herself with that great four-man wall from the Victorians. Really keeping Polly behind her. Find them. G-Banger's approaching the back of the pack for a point-scoring pass. Lapping cookie cutter. She runs into the... Yellow and black hornets now. Polly's really struggling there at the back of the pack. Calamity Mame and, and Kitty Decapitate doing a great job. All the agility that Polly Crackers is showing is being answered by the agility of the blockers. And that is a grand slam for G-Banger. She's got to be happy with that. Very pleased. Polly Crackers seriously struggling to get through that defense. G-Banger just glides on through yet again. Holy Crack is still trying to get through that wall of defense. It's just not working for SSIG right now. Victorian's really done well with their strategy, owning the front of that pack and just dominating it every time. Up on the board. Oh, she skips the track and she's right through the pack. G-Banger is almost through again. Yeah, it is another there she is. That's the third grand slam in this jam for G-Banger. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this woman knows Oh, how this to is skate. absolutely Ladies amazing. G Bang is still, still going. Is still Bit of fatigue showing, but she's not really slowing down. She approaches the road of the pack again, trips and falls inside the pack. And the Victorians are just hitting Polly again and again and again. But finally, she is through. G Banger is making her way through for yet another scoring pass. Takes a big hit. Is that Lady Killer? That's Lady Killer, number 11. Huge hit on G Banger. Wow. Good jam there for VRDL. VRDL leading 146 to 50. And here we have Skate Push, number 45 for the Victorians, taking the jamming line. And jamming for the first time tonight for SSRG, we have Chop Chop, and the crowd goes wild. Chop Chop has her own chant, it has hand movements and everything. You may be able to see everyone doing it in the audience. And the jammers are released. Chop Chop trying to bow her way through that wall of blue at the back of the pack. She's still got to come up against BB Bombshell, which she does, followed closely by Skatebush. Skatebush is very fast, as is Lady Killer. Chop Chop is just out in front by about five feet. Hesley Jammer status is in, in control. But is she going to be run down before she reaches the back of the pack for a point scoring pass? What we love to see nice work there by Skatebush, forcing her to call it off before any points can go on the board. Absolutely, not surrendering any advantage there to Chop Chop. So if you already have almost a 100 point lead now with 140, oh no, 148 points on the board to 50 from Sun State Roller Girls. Lady Killer standing up to our jam for Sun State. Looks like we're going to have two blockers apiece in the pack. Swish Caribou jamming for the Victorians. In fact, she hesitated a little bit. She wasn't 100% sure that she was. Lady Killer skips through on the inside line, but just like last time. The VRDL jammer is in her shadow. And we've seen no indications as yet. Oh, Sun State is lead jammer. Moving fast. Oh, yeah. Some jammer on jammer action. And Swish Caribou takes the lead. Bit of cheeky blocking there by Lady Killer. Unfortunately, it didn't work out well for her, and she had to uh, call off the jam to defuse the situation if she lost position on the track. Okay, we've got Man Malarina hitting the jammer line again for the Victorians, number 505. And Chop Chop back on the track for SSRG. Uh, the, the Victorians opting for a quick start again, all taking a knee, dominating that jammer line. Victorians having three blockers on the track, outnumbering SSRG's two. But it looks like SSRG is about to receive a third. Oh, some great skating running almost by Man Malarita as she struggled to, to get through that blocker. Chop Chop choosing the outside line, trying to put on the pace to get through. Does she do it? Yes, she does! Sunstone is in control! Chop Chop is lead jumper! Chop Chop is just a ball of speed and willpower. And Mad Mel has got a penalty for start. use of forearms. A forearms major up against Mad Mel Arena. This is okay, we're going to power jam situation for SSRG and Chop Chop. Chop Chop's going to need your support. Oh, and a five point, point pass there for SSRG. The Victorians having a quick chat, figuring out their strategy. Make sure they've got that hugely strong blue wall right there. The pack has stopped. There's a wall of blue at the front. Chop Chop trying to find a way around, not having the best of luck with that. Big hit then. Oh, and Chop Chop. No, no, she didn't cut the track. I think she got a minor penalty there for um, counterclockwise blocking, but she still gets her grand slam. Four of the ideal blockers there, forming a wall across the track. Chop Chop trying to find a way around. Big hit there from Splatterpuss. Chop Chop, does she power through the front? Yes, she does. Another five point pass for SSRG and Chop Chop. But here we have Man Malarina back out there on the track. Now watch the tactics in the pack change. Chop Chop. Mad Mel is weaving away there, but she's got a two-man wall from Sun State to fight. Rose Ruin and Sweet Enemy. 
Oh, a bit of a foul there in the pack, giving Chop Chop the opportunity to sneak on by. Chop Chop at one scale. Oh, looks like she was going to make it. There was some beautiful balancing act going on there from Chop Chop. Beautiful work. They kept Chop Chop in the back pocket just for the second half, it seems. I think so. So uh, almost halfway through the second half, some state roller girls with 70 points on the board. The RDL 148. Okay, Lady Killer has stepped up to jam for Sun State. She's going up against G Banger at number 010. Three VRDL blockers on the track, only two from SSRG. Lady Killer trying to force her way through that wall, but not with too much luck. G Banger doing a fantastic job to make it through the pack. She is lead jammer. Lady Killer is free from the pack, about one third of the track length behind G-Banger. It's amazing to see the Victorian switch strategy as they check where the jammers are uh, in, in comparison to each other on the track. Making sure they're making it the, the best opportunity so their jammer can score those points before the opposition has any chance. Very good move there by G-Banger. Quick pass, call it off, take the points. You can only imagine the tens of hours a week they spend in training Okay, we've got Skate Bush, number 45, taking the jammer line for the Victorians. And Polly Crackers, number eight for SSRG. We've got two blockers from each team on the track, and we've got one blocker from each team who is already standing within the penalty box. Polly, a legal procedure from, from Polly as she, she got a bit keen there, jumped straight in, which means she, oh, she oh, hardly jammed, nice. she did yield. Yes, she uh, crossed the line early, then stopped, but made up that uh, extra distance inside the pack. Skatebush is still struggling to make it through that last line of defense, but they have to let her go. And Polly Crackers just approaching the back of the pack, and while I said that, pass right through it. Off the jam. Beautiful work there by Polly. We have 74 points to Sunstate, 152 to the RDL, 13 minutes. We've got just under 14 minutes, minutes left, left in this second period. VRDL lead 152 to 74. But I think with the quality of roller derby and strategy coming from both of these teams, anything can happen. They've got a lot of time to work with here. Absolutely. Swish Caribou, number 138, taking that jammer cap for the Victorians. And Chop Chop for SSRG. SSRG has four blockers on the track, VRDL only two. Chop Chop pass through the pack, taking lead jammer status and a quick pass through the pack. Chop Chop straight through the pack, Chop Chop is the lead jammer. Back moving at a moderate pace there around Some the big hits happening by the, 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 the pack there for the Victorian, the trying to make that opening for Swishy. And finally she does it, she is through. She narrowly avoids being lapped by Chop Chop. Chop Chop is now hitting some VRD yell defense at the front of the pack. Knocked onto the inside track area, loses momentum. These girls know how to put the brakes on, but do they know how to hold back the Swish Caribou? Both pack teams nice doing very well, to trying to pull a cut on, on the opposing jammer. Back to the back of the pack. But those Stay jammers are clever, and neither one fell for it. Swishy taking some big hits there at the front of the pack. SSRG defense stretching a bit far out front from the pack. And that amazing blue wall just holding Chop Chop in check. The RDL taking a defensive position at the front of the pack, the position they prefer. That's been working very well for them so far during this bout. Oh, Chop Chop put out a play, has to re-enter behind the blocker to put her out. And Swishy just makes it on through. SSRG. Grand slam for Swish Caribou. Beautiful work. Every time it slows down, though, they better look out. And now Chop Chop has a bit more support on the track as uh, four blockers for SSRG are there. Hungry for it. Chop Chop's there at the front, coming a foul of number four, Calamity Main. And is that number 70? Oh, Chop Chop just makes it through, staggering past that last line of defense. Five point pass there for SSRG. This is just a brutal Some great job. skating there by Swish Caribou as she makes her way through yet again. What beautiful movement by Swish Caribou! That woman is an amazing skater. 
Unbelievable. Okay, so we've got 165 points on the board for the Victorians, up against 79 for the Sun State Roller Girls. A little bit over 11 minutes left on the clock. Rose Ruin stepping up to jam for Sun State. Up against G-Banger, number 010 for the Victorians. Sun State has a full complement of blockers on the track, while VRDL has one in the penalty box. Up alongside Rose Ruin, Jamie for the Sun State Roller Girls. G-Bang are doing an effective job, just making herself into an additional blocker, really working that all of those Victorians keep Rose Ruin behind them. Rose Ruin ducks and weaves through on the outside, takes Lee Jammer status, SSRG are in control. I believe G-Bang just uh, accumulated her fourth minor, minor and she's now in the penalty box. Nice move by Rose Ruin, busting through, five point pass for SSRG, the pack is static as she approaches for another scoring pass. Berserker, one of the most experienced blockers in the world. A huge hit from Berserker, doesn't even knock her down. Oh, Rose Ruin, thing of beauty, five more points. And Berserker is on her way to the penalty box. But that's all right, Axes of Yvonne is back on the track. Rosemary takes to the outside once again. And another five points for SSRG! Sun State Roller Girls. They gotta be happy about that. Sun State slowly inching backwards. They're happy with it, with it not moving, but they're keeping a sharp eye on G-Banger. G-Banger has now stood up, and the Sun State Roller Girls easily. have changed their strategy. Rose They've fanned the out there to try and take a, and a, a really defensive rule against her re-entry. Some huge hits there on G-Banger. She's diving into that sea of blue and bumping her head, but it has not held her back. Rose Ruin approaching the edge of the pack. G Banger forcing her way through. And G Banger is back to the penalty box. I believe that was for a blocking to the face. That's what happens when you do that reversey blocking. And Rose Ruin gets sent for a track cut. So it's a very short stay in the bin for G-Banger. And a very short stay for Rose Ruin. She's going to be back on the track in seconds. Beautiful defense there by Scotty. That is a cutting the track. Make a penalty, I believe. Or maybe I'm totally wrong. No, I am totally wrong. 99 points. Very good performance by SSRG in that uh, last jam. They're going to need to do that a few times over if they want to catch VRDL. VRDL is on 165, leading SSRG 101. Eight minutes 45 remaining on the clock. So we have a team timeout going on at the moment, a timeout being called by the Victorians. But it looks like Mark Madden is over there in the middle um, checking things out for the Sun State Roller Girls. It kind of looked like he was clearing something about a cross-directional block. I'm not 100% sure, but those Zebras are now in a huddle. I think VRDL are going to use this time wisely. After their dominance throughout the majority of this bout, that last jam may have shocked their confidence a bit. They can't let it get to them. They've got to keep playing how they have been playing. But this is half a head game, and this might be the advantage that SSRG needs to get back into this fight. Victorians are having a little bit of a huddle, getting that mojo back on before they get back out there on the track. And we've got Mad Malarina, number 505 for the Victorians, with three of her, her blockers there to support her. And with Lady Killer uh, jamming for SSRG, but with four blockers on the track. So a minor advantage to SSRG at the commencement of this jam. Quick start there. Mad Malarina jamming for Victoria. Lady Killer, Lady Killer trying to get through at the front of the pack there, bouncing off Great of the fence. Right there, but they've got to let her go, and she is Lee Jammer. There were some huge strides that Mad Mel just took to make her way through the pack. Lady Killer goes for his point scoring pass, tries to muscle her way through the wall of blue, and... Calling it off, four points there for SSRG. Zero points for the Victorians. So I believe we've got 59 points difference going on at the mo moment. 165 on the board for VRDL All-Stars, up against 106 for the Sun State Roller Girls. Chop Chop up on the jammer line, up alongside Skate Bush jamming for... Chop Chop jamming for SSRG. 
they obviously want Up against Skatebush, number 45 for, for the Victorian All-Stars. Some state only has two blockers on the track, where VRDL has three, but Chop Chop sucks on through. Right through that defence down low, taking lead jammer status. SSRG are in control of this jam. And look at what she is capable of. The Sun State Roller Girls have taken, dominated the front of the pack, making Skatebush work really hard for it. Chop Chop approaching the rear of the pack for her uh, point scoring pass. And in the meantime, Smash and Pop made her way back onto the, the track. Oh no, we've got another Victorian on their way to the penalty box. Chop Chop having a bit more difficulty getting through on this occasion. She's still got to face off against Calamity Main. Oh, points the very on both sides that time. We've got a little bit under seven minutes left on the clock. 109 for the Sun State Roller Girls, 168 for the Victorians. Swish Caribou has taken the jammer line for Victoria. And we've got Rose Rowan jamming for SSRG. SSRG only with two blockers on the track, just like last time facing off against Victoria's three. So they want them to serve Rose Rowan trying to muscle through on the outside line there. But some great work there by uh, BB Bumshell. Drawing all the way awesome. to the outside before she gets taken down. Rose Rowan now looking for an opening on the inside, but is being tied down. And Swish Caribou has it. She is lead jammer. She snuck her way on through on the outside of the track. Oh, the VRDL blockers just race to the front of the pack and have three on Rose Rowan. Big hit there by Ruby Rib Crusher. She just got penalized for something. I'm not sure what. I didn't see it. It looked nice. Looks like, Looks like SSRG have well, captured uh, the jammer at the back of the pack, stopping her from getting through for that point scoring pass. And Victoria have Rose well in their, their grasp at the front of the front of the pack. Like jammer, jammer all by herself for each team working against that, that defensive blocking. Rose Ruin trying to get past those front two. She looks absolutely stuffed. She slips by on the inside there. Okay, now we'll see the, the strategy change for the Victorians as they help Swish Caribou get through so she can score those final points before Rose Rowan makes her way around. She's around and she calls it off. Oh, very quick. Just in time there, Swishy. Four points for the Victorians, zero for Sun State. Okay, we have Lady Killer stepping up to jam for Sun State. Up against G-Banger for the Victorian All-Stars. Sun State has one blocker in the penalty box, as does VRDL. A quick little hug there between Ruby Rib Crusher and Mark Madden. That was sweet. Jamming and an official timeout has been called. And it looks like Ruby Rib Crusher is actually taking off her equipment. I'm not 100% what, sure what just happened, but she may have fouled out. We have a... Okay, well, we're on this... Uh, oh, no, we're up. We're going again. The jammer whistle is blown immediately. Lady Killer jamming for Sun State. G Banger out there for the Victorians. Fighting her way through at the front of the pack. She's still got to deal with Sweet Enemy. Oh, good support there. And G Banger is through. She is the jammer. Just in time. It's a power jam situation for the Victorians. Lady Killer, jammer for the SSRG, is in the bin. The and she's through a grand slam for G Banger. Making it look so easy. SSRG gets another Huge block back on the track. Nice oh. on G Banger. Only four points then for G Banger. I don't think she got that final point for Sweet Enemy. Not looking yeah, that seems to have knocked the ginger out of her. And her skaters welcome her back as they enter another scrum. She pulls her way through, grabbing onto Kitty Decapitate's shirt. Oh, and bouncing off her last the challenge there at the front of the pack. The Grand slam, five points for G-Banger. To block her out of bounds. Ladies and gentlemen, number 010 G-Banger. 
That was some fantastic jamming there by G-Banger. Great performance, calling off while uh, SSRG's jammer was still in the penalty box, standing, getting ready to re-enter. But VRDL will start this jam with the only jammer on the track. We can expect to see Lady Killer joining Mad Mel Arena any moment now. Great Southern Slam Grand Final. We have seen an official timeout. Official timeout, three minutes, 19 remaining. Three or four jams, depending on how they get cleared off, called off. Though. And right now, things are looking pretty grim for Sun State Roller Girls. Yeah, it's going to, what's the points difference there? 177 points, I think. Uh, 77 points the difference. That is going to, a tough ask in the next two minutes of 52 seconds. But you just got to remember, don't worry about what's come before. Don't worry about what's coming up. Okay, after. bit of a conversation on going on between coach and skaters chance. for the Sun State Roller Girls. We've got we Mad Mel Arena on the jammer line jammer for the Victorians. Line, five, five, Lady five, Killer Mad for Mad the Sun State Roller Girl is in Victoria the penalty Mad box, Mad but she is standing. Mad Mel has hit a wall of black and yellow. Lady Killer is on the track. She's been noticed. She's been caught. And, and she's driven away out the front. Lady Killer on oh, no. a track cut. She is not Lee Jammer. If G Bank, if Mad Mel Arena can make her way through and get called as Lee Jammer, call it. I don't think she's going to have enough time. Lady Killer is already a little bit through getting her story, scoring pass. Mad Mel Arena calls off the jam, but did Lady Killer manage to put some points on the board? Yes, she did. Two that points. was two points for Mad Lady Mel Killer, zero points for Mad Mel, who called it off just in time. That uh, takes our scores to VRDL, 186 leads SSRG, 111. Two minutes remaining to play. Okay, we've got Skatebush, number 45, taking the stars for Victoria. Facing off against Polly Crackers, number eight for SSRG. We have called another... Yes, and we have another official timeout going on. A bit of a huddle going on with the Zebras in the middle of the track. Uh, we want this last two minutes to last. We want to savor it. We want to enjoy our last minutes of TGSS for the next year or maybe two. Oh, my goodness. It's been very exciting. Whilst they're having an official timeout, let's run through the, the rankings um, that we know so far. So number eight for the Great Southern Slam 2012 is the Pirate City All Stars. All Stars? All Stars. Pirate City, all scars. Number seven, we have Brisbane City. Number six was the Canberra Roller Derby League, the Vice City Rollers. Number five, my own league, the Sydney Roller Derby League Assassins. Number four, the amazing, the fantastic Adelaide Roller Derby League, the Adelaide East, who without them we would not even be here. And number three is the Northern Brisbane Rollers. Now let's see who's going to take out place number two and place number one as the final minutes run out. Okay, they're all away. Holy Crackers still trying to find her way through the wall of blue at the back of the back, not having much luck. Skatebush almost jumping on her skates as she tries to break through that wall of gold. Holly's trying on the outside line, putting on some pace, but she gets tapped out. She re enters. Huge hit on Rocky onto Foley. And Foley's all taken down by one of her own skaters as well. And Skatebush has it. She is lead jammer. The RDL are in control, one minute 15 left on the clock. Huge hits on Polly there. Polly is free and clear from the pack, not Lee Gemma and trailing. Here is Skatebush making her a scoring pass and she does it with barely a right through on the outside. But here comes Polly. I think the Victorians can taste victory. It's just Polly gets down. Kitty just happy Kate taking her out beautifully to the outside. Skatebush has chosen not to call off the jam. Knowing full well that Polly Crackers was approaching the back of the pack. Polly Crackers is trying to get through, trying to beat off a challenge here, puts on some speed, breaks free from the front of the pack. Four point pass for SSRG. Skatebush is fighting hard to make it through. She runs all of those points before she ties it off. Crocodile Dundee and Maserati slaughter daughter gives her a bit of a nudge onto the outside. Cutting the track major, I believe, getting thrown around to slaughter daughter. And Skate pushes push through and pulls it off just in time. She got him all. And we have 18 seconds left. 
Okay, we've got 15 seconds left on the board. Sun State Roller Girls with 115 up against BRDL's 194. Sun State have called a timeout, making use, hoping to see a, a final jam of this game. Which jammers do you want out there? Do you want Chop Chop? Okay, looks like we've got Chop Chop stepping up to jam for Sun State in what will be the final jam of this bout. Up against Swish Caribou, number 138. Number 117, Chop Chop Jenny for Sun State. Number 138, Swish Caribou Jenny for the Victorian Roller Derby League. This is where the action is. This is, this has been an amazing event. 115 for Sun State, 194 to Victoria. We are down to the final. Okay, Victoria's got three blockers out there on the track. BB Bombshell, Berserker, and Smash and Pop. SSRG only has two, with two sitting in the bin cooling their heels. Looks like they've got Sweet Enemy and Rose Ruin. The ideal opting for the knee start to get this underway quickly. Smashing it out here on the flat track. No pack is called, and they are away. Swish Swish Kabu Kabu the takes a jump as she the leaps off the jammer Just line. The and she gets through. That was Two amazing. Lead jammer Kabu for Swish Caribou. Yeah. Beautiful work. And just there is no time left on the on the on the board anymore for this half. I have one minute and forty seconds left on this jam time. Swish Caribou approaching the back of the pack, making a scoring pass through, tries to sidestep. Oh, she gets taken down. That was four points for Victoria, zero points for Sun State. So we have an unofficial final score of 198 for the Victorian Roller Derby League to 115 for Sun State Roller Girls. Let's just hold our breath for a moment as we wait for the official finale from the head west. Once again, the Victorian Roller Derby League, the proud possessors of the golden thong. It may have already happened. I may have missed it as I blinked. It looks like all of the officials are shaking their hands on the inside. Victoria is, is celebrating. That was quite a huge lead that the Victorian maintained throughout uh, most, all of the second half and most of the first half. Last time these two teams came head to head at the Great Southern Slam in 2010, there was only one point difference in the final score. So we've had the privilege of watching the best derby available in Australia, which has to equal the best derby in the world. Excellent. So with the final score, we have the Sun State Roller Girls taking out place number two for the Great Southern Slam 2012, and the Victorian Roller Derby League All-Stars taking out first place yet again for the second Great Southern Slam that we've seen in Australia. Well, I think we need to get down to the party that's going on on the track. So we'll sign off. It's been an absolute pleasure. Please be sure to come and drop by the Slammer for the post-game interviews. Channel 1 on the DNN site. I'm more adjusted. It's been my pleasure to be here with you tonight. I miss Biff and it's just been freaking awesome. For the ladies in the black and the yellow, the sun, This is the second time the Sun State Roller Girls have represented themselves in the grand final at the Great Southern Slam. Let's give them a big round of applause and right. welcome back to the Adelaide Showground. Just another rematch, same as 2010. What a pair of awesome derby leagues. Something for the rest of Australia and New Zealand to aspire towards. Just the dedication, the passion, just brings tears of joy to my eyes. Well, Dave, I'm standing here and it's getting heavy. Could I ask one of the captains of the Victoria Roller Derby League to come help me lift this trophy? Can we please present back? Well, Mark Wright, oh, we're here in the Slammer once again for DNN, and we've just witnessed an amazing grand final at the Great Southern Slam 2012. Oh, that's right, Sunstate Victoria putting on a show for all the people in attendance here. And uh, it was a fitting final game for uh, such a great, great Southern Slam here in, uh, in Adelaide. Final score, 198 to 115 going to the Victoria Roller Girls. I think, I think everyone kind of guessed that uh, Victoria would come out again, but Sunstate really did push them again in a great final. Absolutely, great final. Sunstate put up a great fight for the whole bout. There was no point in that bout where you thought, well, one team has absolutely got it in the bag, except maybe the last few minutes when the score 
probably got away from Sun State and it got to the point where they just couldn't come back. But Victoria, well, they showed why they're the best in Australia. They showed why they're there. Australia's only with the league right now. Sun State, though, still not far behind them. That's right. I mean, this is the great thing about the Great Southern Slam. You can get a real feel for where everyone is. And uh, obviously, Victoria holding on to their top spot. But uh, Sun State pushing and showing that they're not that far off. And uh, I say in two years' time, it could be, it could be a different, uh, for a different uh, result. I think so too, definitely. I think Sun State are pushing for that Wolf to uh, apprenticeship as well. And once they get involved in that, I think the, the resources available to them then, getting involved in the American tournaments like the uh, Victorians are now, that's going to be a big help to them. And give them that little edge that Victoria has over them and even things out again. Oh, absolutely. It was, it was quite clear through the whole weekend, Victoria has obviously taken a lot of experience from that Dust Devil tournament on how to play a full weekend's worth of, uh, of games. They really are... Uh, from pool, uh, from pool game one right through to this final, they've managed their players. They've uh, they've uh, looked solid. They've looked like they've had a game plan and uh, and not just reacting to what's happening in front of them. And I think that's the sort of experience. Uh, that's the sort of skills that come from the experience of going to something like Dust Devil and uh, and getting that international derby experience. Absolutely, well, we've seen a great tournament. We're going to try and line up some interviews once Victoria stops celebrating. Uh, it might be a little while though. Um, Sun State, well, they they put up a great fight. Now, uh, great tournament. Um, we've seen. Let's let's re give a quick recap of the top eight. So, in eighth place, we saw the Pirate City Rollers. That's right, Pirate City Rollers. Uh just put literally at the post by Brisbane City in that final jam uh, of uh, the playoff uh, seven and eight, and uh, really nothing in that, nothing in that game between those two teams. Uh, I think uh, they've probably got a uh, a good rivalry uh, in the making there, and uh, I think uh, if there was a rematch today, maybe the things would have gone a different way. But uh, but well done to the Pirates and uh, Brisbane City, who I must admit. They were a little bit of a surprise to make the top eight, um, and they they really showed that uh, that they deserve to be there. Absolutely, great game that one last night. Uh, Brisbane City obviously coming in seventh, and um, yeah, the three Queensland teams really representing. Oh, absolutely, absolutely, and of course uh, these uh, these final games, quite often in, a, in tournaments, you get uh, you get that sort of hangover when you've been knocked out of uh, contention for winning it. Uh, those playoff bouts can often uh, feel like a, uh, an afterthought, but not, not the case. Absolutely. Well, I don't want to keep it waiting. We've got G-Banger here put for mine. The absolute the standout performer in, with the star on the helmet in the whole tournament. <laughs> G-Banger. And G-Banger, tell us about your wardrobe malfunction. Um, well, I don't know. They just sort of slip on skates most of the time. And, yeah, they just slipped off this time. And I, could, I, I still got points. Yeah, you did. <laughs> That's good work. Getting off the track, getting back on after you fix the skate. Tell us, how's the feeling right now? It must be amazing to win this tournament. I've been crying. I'm really happy. We've been working so hard, um, and all the league, the entire league, not just the All Stars, um, for this. And I, I, I love the RDL, and yeah, this is just great. It's, I can't explain. It's really lovely. Well, the RDL played some amazing roller derby all tournament. Really went out there, I think, to intimidate a few teams and put some big scores on the board. Was that the plan, really, to, uh, to show everyone exactly what you're about, all tournament? No, it was more about treating every team with respect. And um, we've been playing in the States, and we've been playing some really fucking hard teams. And, um, you know, it's made us grow. And we wouldn't be this team right now if we didn't get a bollocking by bloody Rat City, by Texas, by Angel City, who love. And, yeah, so it's, uh, we, it was nothing to show what we are. It was more... we. We treat every team the same way, and that's what—that's the way we went in. That was the plan, and yeah, and I think we did, and it was great. Well, I think you did too. I think it was very successful, Mike Wright. Any any questions for oh, G Banger? I, I I don't really have a question. I just want to say well done again, G Banger. Amazing jamming all tournament, and uh, and as we said, amazing can do it on one skate. Well, well done, G Banger. Congratulations. Go join your team. Well, we're going to be joined as well by the uh, Sun State commentator. And 
Slam a regular. Honest Dave. Honest Dave, talk us through. Well, hang on. We've got, well, hang we've on. got some more important than people than Honest Dave, to be, yeah. to be honest. Stop being on the camera, Honest Dave. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. We've had enough of that ugly mustard jacket. Come on in. What is this? Uh, Maserati. Yep. And um, step for knife. knife. Maserati, great game. Oh, thank you. Thank it was you. a really, really tough game out there. The uh, packs, the pack work by both teams is quite amazing. Yeah, Victoria was really strong. Um, they were really effective in breaking up our walls um, quite consistently. So uh, we managed to hold their jammer, but at the end of the day, they just were able to break that wall and get them through, and we couldn't counteract that, unfortunately. And for you, how was that game for you? What, what were the highlights? Um, well, I have to say, the whole thing kind of went quite fast. We've just been training so hard, and everyone's just been pumped all weekend. It's just been such an amazing, an amazing experience. And um, it was fantastic to be out there. I think we all learnt so much. The Victorian girls gave us a run today. and They certainly did that. We're looking forward to meeting up with them again in September. Yeah, I think um, you've got some good things to go away and work on, definitely. Uh, but really uh your, your pack work was good too you really managed to hold up some some amazing jammers for victoria you've got some pretty pretty bloody good jammers as well yourself but um look i, th I think the uh, the pack work by sun state was for a lot of the a lot of the bout was just as good as the victorian pack work and it shows the, the dedication and hard work you've been putting in yeah um we definitely have been working really hard on that in particular um not going in for those big hits and really maintaining that wall um, and trying to keep that strong um, so, but we've definitely got a little bit to work on in terms of protecting the wall in, the, in those scrum starts and this game's really given us a, um, a good chance to have a hit out against them and hopefully we can, you know, equal them or even better them in September. Yeah, well, looking forward to September for the rematch and um, congratulations on number two in Australia and New Zealand. Not such a bad feat after all. I'm sure after a while that'll sink in. Commiserations on the loss here, but congratulations on coming second in such an amazing tournament, in the biggest roller derby tournament in the world. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well done, guys. Thanks very much. Well honest, Dave. Why don't, why don't you come back in now, just for a minute. Give me that microphone. See, I've got... See, while I was away just then, while you kicked me off the screen, I managed to find two absolute derby superstars. So can we please make way for the legendary Kitty Decapitate and Berserker? Can you please take a seat down here? Oh, down here, Berserker, please, please, please. If anyone deserves a seat right now, you two do. What a game. Could you tell us just a little bit about it? I just, I'm lost for words. I think we are too. <laughs> the, game, the weekend was all about building momentum yep. and intensity for us mm -hmm. and keeping the momentum going. And I felt that we did that. We did it really well. Yeah, it was great. From each game, we kind of built and built and built. And that was kind of our plan going into it. And it was just great that it worked. You know what? What I'm actually interested in is, like you two, Victoria seems to be at the, just the forefront of roller derby in the entire Southern Hemisphere. Not only just the awesome way you play the game, but just in every aspect. You're the first one to get recognised by WFTDA, first one to have official refs, just, the first, just, just breaking new ground every year. So what I want to know, and I think what everyone in Australia and New Zealand wants to hear is what is next for Victoria Roller Derby? We'd really like to play regionals, <laughs> Western regionals. <laughs> I think when we went to Dust Devil, we had no idea how we'd perform and we were just so proud of what we did there and we just love that momentum to keep going. The whole of Australia is proud of what you did there. Do, how does it work? Like, How do you get involved in the regionals and how, do you, how does it decide in which region you go in? Do you even know? We're, we're in the West region, which is a really tough region. Yep. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of fighting it out at the moment with the teams kind of playing it out for those last spots. So we just hope that kind of what we did at Dust Devil and if people were kind of watching how we played today that, you know, we, we have a case. That we've done enough. That we've done enough. <laughs> what about cash? Oh, if anyone's got any and <laughs> like to give us some, that'd be amazing. <laughs> well, listen. Well, we've got you here. Oh, this is supposed to be a bit of a mock sin bin. So I guess right. let's do 10 seconds. Let's all stand. Hi. <laughs> would you like to you two are just absolute gods what a game would you like to do a shout out or a thank you to anyone while we've got you here well you got the world watching uh, I'll have a shout out to my sponsor Antique Skate Boots <laughs> and Berserker um, just into the mic 
just to the whole of Victorian Roller Derby League for all the mm -hmm. support they've given us over training for the last couple of months. They've really allowed us the space to work really hard and all the support back home has been amazing. Thank this you, guys. Is, this is for them and I think this yep. is a testament for what an amazing league we have, supportive and encouraging, and it's been great. Thank you so much, Berserker and Kitty. And congratulations on such an epic win. That was absolutely amazing. Slam grand finalists, grand final winners once again. You're released. You can go and party now. Enjoy. <laughs> Oh, great interview, honest Dave, as always. <laughs> and we've got some, um, just just a quick recap of the rest of the tournament. The, the, as we said, the seventh, eighth playoff, absolute nail biter, down to the last jam. And then we had the fifth, sixth playoff. Wow, what a game. <laughs> I, I unfortunately missed this. I've only, I've only heard nothing but amazing reports about this game. Canberra taking on Sydney. You, well, the scores were locked at the end of the end of the time we had an extra jam extra jam extra jam S Canberra started with their blocker with sorry with their jammer in the penalty box Sydney went out there j a no lead jammer situation scoring on the first pass and not only did we see that but we saw a star pass by Sydney Captain Rats absolutely exhausted star pass Sydney ended up winning by just three points it's, it was a brave brave move and uh, it paid off for them uh, I believe uh, that uh, that was the first time Sydney had beaten Camera in the in the last three outings. I believe Camera had had the uh, the goods on them before that, and so doing it at the Great Southern Slam just must be that extra icing on the cake for That's Sydney. That's right, huge rivalry between those two teams, and a, a long-standing rivalry, very similar age, about four, about been batting for about four years each, and played each other a lot of times now. And yeah, Sydney very happy to get away with that one. And um, that, that was the fifth, sixth match in 3-4. Three, 3-4. Four. Three, four. Host League Adelaide taking on uh, Northern Brisbane role. It was uh, Northern Brisbane from your neck of the woods, uh, Dave. Have you got any thoughts on that game? Oh, I'm just so proud of Northern Brisbane rollers. We didn't know. Uh, we were hoping that they'd do well coming in here. We hadn't seen much of what Adelaide had been doing the last couple of years, but we've been slowly watching Northern Brisbane go from strength to strength over the last few years. And just to see them dish it out to such a degree. I only got to watch the last quarter of that match, but... Oh, it made my heart swell with pride to see them seriously dishing out the punishment out there. It was another really interesting game. Of course, then we had the grand final, which we've already wrapped. Victoria, congr big congratulations again. I, I tell you what, I, I don't know if there's much more to say about that. Victoria, they, they did it. Number one again. We'll see them again at the next TGSS where they'll probably win it again. And, and who's going to stop them? I don't know. But, uh, well, it could, it could be Sun State. I think, uh, I think we're getting the wrap-up signal now. We are now, getting the wrap-up <laughs> signal. I, I can see uh, that the beers are being popped over there, so we should, uh, we should move on. So we'd like to, again, to thank you for watching. Thank DNN for bringing you all this action over the weekend. I've been Mike Wright. I'm honest, Dave. And I've been Mike Mann. You've been watching the seller on DNN. <laughs> Slammer on DNN. <laughs> Wow, way, way to mess up your last uh, thing ever on DNN. Can we, just, can we just edit that and, and just... You're fired. Uh, we're live, we're live. <laughs>